People have a tendency to throw around the term the worst father in all of anime when discussing characters like Goku, Gein, Sasuke, Naruto, and Monkey D. Dragon. And of course, the most widely accepted the worst father in anime, Xiao Tucker. With his state alchemist exam approaching, Xiao Tucker transmuted his daughter Nina and her dog Alexander into a chimera. In one of the most horrifying and disturbing sequences I have ever seen in my life in any form of media. And due to this, many would consider him the worst father in the industry. However, despite how horrible his acting were, I have to disagree. I believe the worst father in anime in Gendo Ikari. Chow Tucker, despite how terrible he is, does care to some extent about his daughter. When he was low on money, he still cared for her and attempted to take care of her. Whether or not Gendo does actually care about Shinji is a completely different discussion. Because even if he does care about Shinji, he certainly doesn't act like it. After the death of Shinji's mother, Yui Ikari, Gendo abandons Shinji and only sees him once a year on the anniversary of his mother's death and will not even speak to him unless absolutely necessary. Their nearly get-together seems to be based entirely around a mutual desire to visit Yui's grave on the anniversary of her death. Gendo only gets back in contact with Shinji when he needs him to pilot Evangelion Unit 1. As a person, he does not want to see Shinji. He has no desire or interest in Shinji. He only wants Shinji because of his ability to pilot the Evangelion. After agreeing to work at Nerve instead of doing the normal thing and inviting his son to live with him, Shinji is set up to live on his own. He does end up living with Misato, but that doesn't change the fact that Gendo would rather his 14 year old son live alone than live with him. Even while working at Nerve, Shinji is still required to attend school. The teacher of the school would like to have a meeting with both the children and their parents discussing future career opportunities. Shinji calls Gendo and informs him of the matter, and Gendo responds by telling him that he has delegated all such duties to Misato as he does not have time for such trivial matters. Gendo also tells Shinji not to call him ever again over something so trivial. Shinji even reveals that the reason he puts his life in danger and pilots the Evangelion originally is simply to receive praise from his father. Gendo rarely even calls Shinji by his first name, treating him as just another pilot and putting the safety of Unit 1 above his own. When the 13th Angel takes over Unit 3, piloted by Shinji's friend Toji, Gendo tells Shinji to kill Toji and destroy Unit 3. Shinji refuses, preferring death over killing another person. Gendo does what I believe to be one of the most disgusting things Gendo does in the entire series. He activates the dummy plug system and makes the dummy plug attack Unit 3 and destroy it and begin to slowly attempt to kill Toji. As the dummy plug controls Unit 1 begins to slowly destroy Unit 3, Shinji screamed out in anguish, begging his father to stop, and Gendo responded to cut off the communication as Shinji screams and cries as he watches his giant robot that he hates piloting destroy and murder his friend. The big difference between Gendo and people like Xiao Tucker is that Gendo does not care about Shinji at all in a very literal sense. Gendo cares more about Unit 1 than he cares about Shinji. While he does have a reason for this, his reason is tied to his illogical, insane obsession with his dead wife Yui. Of course, there are reasons for why Gendo abandons his son and why he doesn't show him affection. However, they're 100% personal and psychological and don't excuse his actions in the slightest. He goes as far as to manipulate his own son into putting his life on the line in the beginning of the series when he threatens to use the half-dead Rei Ayanami to pilot Unit 1 and die in combat with an angel if Shinji doesn't pilot it. But why is Gendo worse than the people I listed earlier? Gein abandons his son, but as far as I am aware, he doesn't actively try to get him murdered. At least as far as I am aware, all the dangerous things Go does are completely by his own choice. So Gein is already better than Gendo by not forcing his child to nearly die because it's useful for his own goal. Similarly, while Dragon did abandon Luffy, he seemed to have left 
Luffy in the care of his grandfather, Monkey D. Garth, who, while a little abusive, does clearly love Luffy. While Goku does neglect his children, he also never actively tries to get them killed to further his own goal. He's also more than willing to put his life on the line to protect them if necessary, especially when they are young. Clear to at least some extent that he does care about his children. And Naruto and Sake are the simplest of the bunch. Naruto and Sake are there whenever they can be, but this happens to be away a lot due to their important duties to their village. Naruto and Sake neglect of their children is very circumstantial and not entirely something they want. All of these characters could be analyzed deeper, but the core thing that they all have in common is that they care about their children. Some level. Even Shao Tucker seems to care a little bit. His experiments on his daughter Nina were a last resort, something he would never resort to unless he absolutely felt he had to. So yes, while what Tucker did was horrible, and it's clear it's not something he wanted to do, and something he wanted to avoid doing and only did because he was running out of time. Gendo, however, does not care about the psychological trauma he causes his child and whether or not his child lives or dies as long as Unit 1's safety is guaranteed. As I stated earlier, he isn't even willing to show up at school to meet with his son's teachers for 15 minutes. And don't forget, Gendo is the commander. If Gendo wanted to attend, he could make the time to do it. In Gendo's eyes, his son's future career opportunities really are nothing more than a trivial matter. Unlike literally all the other people I've talked about in this video, Gendo does not care about Shinji in the slightest, or at least if he does, he never acted on it once in the entire series. Gendo is a horrible human being that has no problem sacrificing the lives of innocent people to accomplish his goals, even if it means putting his own child in harm's way. While Gendo does have a reason for treating Shinji the way he does, it still doesn't excuse his actions, so I'm not really going to go into it here, because that requires a full analysis of Gendo's character. So I personally believe Gendo is the worst father in anime. But guys, tell me who you think is the worst in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos like this, and above all else guys, have a great day.